I'm really excited to bring you this next one. And I'm really sorry that I can't bring this one to you outside. As you can hear, it is raining uh, and I have gone out and rescued these from the rain because I didn't want them to spoil. This particular beauty is Crown Princess Margarita. Available from David Austin Roses in two forms, both bred and introduced in 1999. It is available as a fairly large climber, reaching around 12 feet, and as a shrub rose, which reaches around five. Now I don't have this as a climber, but this is a really, really useful shrub rose. And much like the Wedgwood Rose or Claire Austin, if you know how to handle this plant, it will bring you the utmost of pleasure. It's a very, as a shrub, it is a very, very informal, floppy and unruly lady. It needs a little bit of taming, uh, but if your style like mine is very informal and very billowy, uh, that lovely natural cottage garden style, it's a really, really useful rose that's very, very pretty. Give it a light support of canes very early on in the season, just to make sure that the floppiness doesn't end up meaning the, the canes actually touch the floor and it will be a beautiful, beautiful rose. If you've got a pillar, if you've got a post or a small obelisk, this rose is ideal, or even the size of a rose arbor. I was talking to a client actually just yesterday who had planted the wrong rose on the wrong framework and all of her flowers were sort of right up at the top of it and there was nothing on the sides. So Crown Princess Margarita as a shrub or as a climber is really good for that kind of thing because it does actually reach around five to six feet as a shrub. So cladding the sides of an arbor with it is a really useful thing to do. It is absolutely stunning. It's a deep, apricot colour with a lovely lovely ruffled the depth to the flower on this one is absolutely stunning and I take this one out so you can see it I'm not going to take those away they're too pretty you can see there the bloom is very very deeply cupped hundreds and hundreds of beautiful yellow apricot petals working their way into actually what is a very very pale green eye in the centre the foliage is very, very dark green, as you can see, and very glossy. It's a wonderful combination. The most huge benefit with this particular flower is not only that it is so free flowering, quite late to the party, this one's only just joined us here at late June, but this will flower all the way through now till October. But they say the, the biggest plus point on this is really the scent. It's absolutely stunning. It's a really, really heavy, rich, hybrid tea smell to the rose itself. It's fruity, it's fresh, it is lovely, and carries really well on the wind. And because it has such an informal, natural, sort of hanging habit to the rose, this one is a kind of thing that you kind of got brushed past and you want to smell because the heads are often bobbing around at around head tight. Now I know I'm quite on the short side, but I say if you planted this on the side of an arbor, on the side of an arbor, or the side of a rose arch, this is the kind of thing you're going to want to enjoy. Another really useful plus point with this particular rose is it thrives really well and flowers really well in partial shade, which many roses don't. So if you've only got a spot in the garden that gets about four hours of sunlight per day, Cream Crown Princess Margarita from David Austin Roses as a shrub or as a climber is a really useful plant to have about. And I absolutely adore this. I'm not sure if this is gonna make top 10, but it certainly comes highly recommended from myself.